pada 20 hari bulan Rejab 1413 bersamaan 13 hari bulan Januari 1993 muncullah dengan megahnya sebuah bank Islam di negara Brunei Darussalam baru-baru ini mereka juga telah memperkenankan cadangan penggabungan dua buah bank tempatan iaitu Bank Islam Brunei Berhad IBB dan Bank Pembangunan Islam Brunei Berhad IBB as the Islamic Bank, I think it's also very important that we uh, incorporate Makassid Sharia uh, in, in the way we, we conduct our business. Unit Kajian Syariah berperanan membantu badan penasihat uh, syariah dari segi kajian yang bertujuan tidak lain adalah untuk mempertingkatkan produk dan perkhidmatan baharu yang sentiasa berdaya saing melalui kajian penyelidikan tersebut selaras dengan amalan perbankan Islam di peringkat antarabangsa. Inilah amanah dan tanggungjawab badan penasihat syariah yang wajib ditunaikan sesuai dengan sabda Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam bahawa agama itu adalah nasihat ad-dinu an-nasihat. BIBB has gone a long way over the last 30 years. Uh, the bank has gone through many transformations. The first transformation is masa uh, IBB, IDBB combined to become BIBD. So the logo has changed and then the outlook and then the level of service has changed. Paling big difference sekali is when we introduce uh, next gen digitalization, mobile banking. Currently, uh, uh, next gen is the most uh, lah, the most used mobile banking platform in Brunei. Untuk kemudahan transfer BBD, uh, quick pay, pasal pasal kebanyakannya BBD memudahkan uh, dalam orang kesulitan bila macam orang tua tua kan kena ambil gaji, kena ambil pension ke apa. Diorang boleh pakai online baby date. Takkan TikTok-TikTok sudah berlalih duit. Masuk ke akaun. Sama Karan, kalau di rumah kan Karan habis, tutup. Patangkan tu. Sekali di Bali dengan online di handphone saja, sudah melampung, berkaran. Membuat pinjaman rumah, segala prosesnya tu diatur dengan baik sama transfer lah. In BIBD is very, very, itulah, very honoured uh, to play a role in the development of the country, lah, and then the development of orang-orang kita ni kan orang buat rumah, uh, and then mengantar anaknya untuk school educations. BIBD has gone, itulah, uh, a, a, a long way to serving uh, uh, orang kita ni orang Brunei. Even international rating BIBD pun uh, masa ni meningkat juga kan. So kalau dulu kita ni unrated. And then uh, we got our first rating A minus. A minus itu pun is very very high kan, considering kita ni, you know, uh, just a small bank kalau international kan. Uh, but we won quite a number of awards, the strongest bank, and then the best retail bank in Brunei. Uh, so those international recognitions is you know, lah, uh, meningkat. Hopefully we will uh, in the next 30 years ini lebih banyak progress dan lebih banyak anu lagi ya, uh, perkembangan yang boleh kita ni look forward to uh, as part of Islamic banking ini. I joined the bank 1981 and right now I'm 62 years old. I started at 5008 1991. So almost 28 years lah. Okay, we're going to take a quick memory trip down the lane with this one. So you can just flip through the pages. Okay. Just share with us um, any memory that you can uh, think of when you see the pictures. Yeah, everybody looks very innocent. Young and innocent. When we have International Bank of Brunei, we have our building of our own. In the past, we rented building, which is always not on the ground floor as what we are, but you at the second floor because it's a small size of the bank. 
then we have we do have an increase of workforce in uh, our said development and uh, we can tell from the picture itself these are all the branches you know few comprise of few branches you see you can even count it not more than 40 or 50 staff officer and staff okay i, I remember this uh, this is apa ni oh. Majlis, I think, pembukaan penukaran nama International Bank to Islamic Bank. I still remember uh, this event until today. Kami kena bagi ni baju hijau ni, lawan ni, emerald green. Sinjangan ni, sinjang tenunan Brunei. So, ia ikut size ni. I think I was like 45 kg ni masa tu. So, sinjang ku, tak masalah. I think 1.5 meters saja kali. But it is Brunei punya tenunan. It's very nice, and I remember, of course, ziarah kita semua tempat kami especially. So kami menunggu di luar daerah pantasnya tu, stesennya tu sekali bertanya berapa lama sudah di bank. I was like baru 22 lima satu umur masih muda, macam biasa lah, dah terjawab in front of him macam tak ada takut lah. I think the kebodili punya charismatic and aura tu is Bukan nanti lah, huh? it's it's it's. Nak terjawab lah, I can say. It's just like cakap terdiam tarik saja. But how I wish I can answer him that I've just like for two years di sana masa tu. But this is the day that make the apa landscape uh, industrial uh, financial industry di Brunei berubah. Well, look, this is me. Has been one of the uh, one of the officers. Uh, in the past to share the, my experience or my knowledge to the staff and everything. And obviously, and this will be a very, very, I would say that periods of the computer, which is like a big as the monitors of the screen, things like that. And then obviously, look at the hair. My hair will be a very, very long hair, to be honest to you. So the IBB and brush of Islamic banking, so obviously, through it to from a conventional banks to Islamic banking, obviously it became, we have a new slogan, it would be the Bank Islam Auda, which is your Islamic bank. And we have a different attire for the staff because it's already carry the Islamic bank. Then obviously a new era by our monarchy, which is her, her His Majesty, for the real call and the change of the mindset. And that will be the, the last until we came into the present BIBD. Until now, we have uh, followed the royal code and the change of mindset. So over the years, uh, we, the Fajr Capital brought in uh, external expertise and worked side by side with our people, the Bruneians. And so, uh, so our Bruneians took advantage of these opportunities and, and, and learned from them. And so as you, as you can see, uh, we don't have that many sort of, uh, sort of expats uh, working in BIBD. Uh, but of course, whenever we need the, the, their expertise, we will continue to engage them. But I think as, at where we are, I think many of our sort of BIBD staff uh, has uh, sort of picked up and uh, be able to take over some of the roles that uh, the expat were doing. And today, I think we are at a different standing compared to you know, 2010. So we have grown a lot. Our people has also grown a lot. And so our services uh, also increased quite a lot. So now that we are on our own, so uh, without the involvement of Fajr Capital, and so it, uh, it's, it's down to us now to, you know, to see how we can advance further in the years to come. Now, BIBD recognizes the importance of investing in people. A few years back, we introduced a graduate management training program. In short, we call it GMT. This is a tailored program that is designed to actually attract highly talented graduates to come work with BIBD. I think like one of the interesting thing about the graduate management training is they actually allow you to be rotated within different divisions of oh the yes, bank. Yeah. So my first division was with finance and after that I was at investment banking and then I also got rotated to retail banking. So I think at that time it was called consumer banking. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. 
So I was at um, QLab branch oh, and then wow. like um, a few other departments lah within oh. retail. And then eventually, um, finally, like uh, I was put ara treasury, which oh. is where I am still now lah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's been um, a long journey. <laughs> wow. Yeah. People are the best kinds of investment for us if we were to achieve our mission, which is to become the best Islamic bank in Asia Pacific. You know, when we look at the foreign direct invest investors that, that we mentioned, uh, a lot of this investment, uh, they, they are also, uh, you know, conscious about climate change environment. And so when they raise financing, uh, so they are also wanting to make sure that they present themselves well, that they are in the industry that actually, uh, you know, are not you know, doing things detriment to the environment. So in our case, uh, as the financier, we also look at their activities. So, so we also want to be responsible to the environment. So we, when we look at financing, we also look at what type of activities they are doing. And so that we are also complying with this you know, new concept of ESG uh, <coughs> that, that, uh, that is actually everyone is facing today. And so, so it, it will become more and more important agenda in the you know, business activities of uh, not just the bank, but also uh, many of these uh, investments that we will be seeing. I think the main thing here is um, building a sustainable future in Brunei Darussalam. And the sustainable development goals that the BIBD is looking into develop as well, that aligns well with our company objectives as well. As we deal with many international partners, secured and reliable connectivity are of great importance to us. BIBD, being the largest bank in Brunei, provides the international gateway for Brunei fertilizer industries to perform its day-to-day -day activities seamlessly and through its vast international network. Uh, in terms of how we help the society, uh, you, you have seen uh, <coughs> that uh, BIBD has been quite active uh, in various programs like SEEDS. Allah. If you look at what we do, uh, you could look at some of the various goals under Sustainable Development Goals. So we play key roles in some of these goals. I think at least five, five of them. Uh, so all in all, as the Islamic Bank, I think it's also very important uh, that we uh, incorporate Makassid Sharia yeah, in, in the way we, we conduct our business so that we can help uh, the society as well as the economy. Ianya membantu mengubah kehidupan saya sebab apa? Saya katakan uh, saya ni memang membuat uh, berjual kuih biasa-biasalah yang sebelumnya sebelum saya menyertai program BBD Seed. Tapi selepas ini orang uh, kuih-kuih saya tu dikenali. Uh, orang tahu saya ni ada buat kek lapis, ada saya membuat uh, kuih-kuih Melayu dan ada membuat biskut uh, biskut biskut kering apa kan walaupun cabaran itu memang banyak di Brunei Darussalam ini apatah lagi ni orang uh, kek lapis ini ianya kalau orang uh, biasa mendengar daripada Sarawak kan tapi uh, setelah menyertai BIBD Seed ini orang orang sudah mengenali uh, produk Brunei pun ada jual kek lapis itu kenangan dari BIBD Seed yang uh, dah dapat dilupakan Orang membuka kanak untuk membuka kopi itu jadi hmm, kenal lagi, uh -uh. lebih terkenal lagi. Sama juga macam kami punya kawas pun. Dari kopi itu kami punya kawas uh, kena kenali. Uh. Uh, nama saya Nur Hafika Wang Haji Bakri. Umur saya 25 tahun. Saya tinggal di Kampung Ayer, Kampung Sabaujong. Saya ada 8 orang adik beradik. Saya anak ketujuh. 
uh, as for myself uh, dari sekolah menengah sudah kan mau belajar di Egypt and then like masuk Alafani orang lah yang merealisasikan belajar di Egypt tu. Uh, masa uh, di Egypt tu ada summer break 2019 balik ke Brunei and then BIBD and then lah call for apa tu internship internship di BIBD uh, selama tiga bulan lah di Syariah Division uh, masa ada ada one of the meeting satu lah like untuk maybe di pre meetings tu with the apa tu nama ada menteri from Mufti uh, lawan kajar kajar kali telanggar telanggar TV <laughs> telanggar TV and then like gigiran cuto and then like <laughs> uh, cause Uh, apa tu you punya BIBD punya tu tu suruh Asha one of the ano telahan like Asha ia kan balik and then sebelah tu TV and then tu pusing tu telanggar TV and then tu lah and then semua dalam meeting tu dorang ketawa lah situ I would like to macam if ada chances kerja di sana like mau tu lah like tambah experience lagi untuk kerja di sana I would like to express my gratitude to BIV Alaf uh, untuk uh, merealisasikan <laughs> impian ni that's it <coughs> I must take this opportunity to thank His Majesty the Sultan and Yang Dipertuan of Negara Brunei Darussalam for his uh, leadership and guidance over the years. I mean, 30 years is a long time. So congratulate to everyone in BIBD for this 30th uh, anniversary. And most importantly, also our customers who supported us, uh, many of them supported us uh, over the years. So we will continue to improve our services, invest heavily in our people, in our IT systems, in our processes. And we will always be conscious about, you know, what we can do more to contribute towards uh, the society and uh, and to help uh, the country in developing its economy going forward thank you bbd for providing 30 years of progress and development happy 30th anniversary to bbd happy 30th anniversary bbd bank we hope you continue to grow and together we will build a sustainable future for Brunei Darussalam. Tahniahlah kepada manager dan staff-staff uh, kaki tangan bank BIBD dalam medesilnya ke-30 tahun. Uh, jadi saya sebagai uh, untuk mengucapkan uh, mudahan uh, staff-staff sini uh, sentiasa dipermudahkan segala urusan, kerjaan dan umurkan umur panjang, badan sihat, uh, sentiasa uh, Saya bahagia di sisi keluarga itu saja lah. Terima kasih. Thank you for uh, Baby D for your service. Thank you Baby D. Saya ingin mengucapkan selamat ulang tahun kepada BIBD yang ke 30 tahun dan tahniah kerana menjadi sebuah bank Islam yang banyak membantu rakyat uh, memanfaatkan dalam perlindungan kewangan dan kehidupan rakyat selama ini. Happy 30th anniversary BIBD. Hope you all uh, success in the future and all the best. Happy anniversary BIBD. Love you. Happy 30th anniversary BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary, BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary, BIBD. Selamat ulang tahun ke-30, BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary, BIBD. Happy 30th anniversary, BIBD.